hey guys christmas is coming up which for the majority of you means mocks so here are some little bits of advice for you So first of all, I want to apologise for it being a bit quiet on this channel recently. I've not been feeling very well. Um, I'm going to give myself another month or so to try and get back to feeling normal again. And then in the new year, you can expect loads and loads of stuff from me. But I'm really, really sorry I haven't been publishing much on here. But if you are in year 11, here are a few things I really, really want you to know. So mocks are important. They are important. They're important for telling you what you need to know, telling you what you advise, telling your teachers what you know and what you don't know. But they're not as important as everyone sometimes thinks they are. They're not as important as you. You are more important than your mocks. So please make sure you are looking after you. When I'm, when I'm talking about looking after you, I mean sleeping properly, eating properly, getting some exercise, looking after your mental health. These things are so, so, so important and much more important than your actual mock results. It is not going to be good for you to stay up till two o'clock in the morning revising for the exam the next day because your brain doesn't work like that. Your brain doesn't like staying up till two o'clock in the morning revising and then being in school for eight. It doesn't like that. It likes going to bed early. It also likes eating properly. Nice, good, lots of good, healthy food. Getting a bit of exercise and spending some time just being. So I know these things aren't gonna be a priority for lots of you, but please, please, please try, please try to make you a priority as well as your vision. So getting enough sleep, getting enough good things to eat, getting some exercise, just leaving the house occasionally because it's dark all the time in that moment, which is horrible. So getting outside, seeing some sunlight and making sure that your mental health doesn't suffer too much over this period. When we're talking about your vision, make sure you're advising sensibly. Just sitting there for hours on end with a textbook in front of you which you are colouring in in your favourite highlighter is not sensible revision I'm afraid. We need to be doing active revision, we need to be doing flashcards, we need to be doing past papers, we need to be making mind maps, active things, not just sitting there passively doing the same thing over and over and over and over again because your brain doesn't work like that again. You need to mix it up a little bit, you need to make sure you have some breaks in there, you need to be doing active things. Do not just colour in your, your vision book or your textbook, that is a bad, bad thing to be doing. If you are not sure about what you should be revising, get the specification. Now there are loads of different ways you can do this. If you do AQA science, you can go over to my website and get the lovely student friendly version that I have made over there. Or you can delve deep into the exam board's website and get a specification from them. It is going to be a very long, wordy, teachery document, but it tells you exactly what the examiners expect you to know. Use it as a checklist, just go through, do I know that? Yes, good. Do I know that? Yes, good. And make sure you know everything the examiners expect you to know. Make sure that one lesson you were off or when you had to leave early for a hockey match or a football match, you didn't miss something vitally vitally important that could be this year's six mark question and get yourself organized it is not too late to make a revision timetable i've shown you how to make one i'll put a link to it somewhere but it's not too late to get organized get a revision timetable and work out which subjects are going to be your priority so for gcse we were talking about your core subjects and we're talking about subjects you're going to be doing at a level these are your priority, priority subjects. Make sure you give these more time than some of the other subjects, which you're not gonna do at A-level and aren't core subjects, maybe aren't going to be a priority. And then finally guys, try and relax. I want you to see mocks as an opportunity, not something that your teachers are doing to torture you. It's an opportunity to see which bits you need to improve on, which bits you're really good at, which bits you need to work harder at. Not just something that we do to torture you, it is an opportunity.
<laughs> I know none of you believe me, but it, it really is. Um, okay, guys, I hope that helps. Please, please, please look after yourself. Um, I know Christmas can be really, really tough with it being dark and cold and exams coming up and family is all in your face everywhere. I know that Christmas can be a really, really tough time, but please try and look after yourselves for me.